In this presentation, the total deformation of the membrane for a MEMS capacity pressure sensor using silicon nitrate, silicon carbide, and aluminium nitride is presented. When input pressure was applied to the membrane, the membrane will deflect accordingly. The relationship between total deformation and input pressure can be seen here in the constructed graph whereby the total deformation on the membrane increases as the input pressure asserted increases. Hence, from the total deformation obtained, further calculations on capacitance and sensitivity was made as depicted in this table using these equations. Lastly, the maximum pressure for the membrane to reach pull-in state varies between three different membrane materials as seen in this table with the cross-sectional image of the membrane touching the upper electrode depicted in this figure. In this presentation, the stress is determined by using three types of materials for membrane which are silicon nitrate, silicon carbide, aluminum nitride. The figure shows the simulation of the normal stress. From the graph shows the aluminum nitride has the highest stress value while silicon carbide has the lowest stress. The input pressure has been set from 100 Pascal to 2000 Pascal. The table has shows the reading of stress for each material when the pressure applied. The Young modulus formula shows the stress over strain. The pressure will affect the force since the formula of pressure is force over area. Pressure will increase as stress increase. Capacitance value also will increase when the stress increase. The capacitance formula which is epsilon naught, epsilon R, A over D shows that as relative permittivity and Poisson ratio increases, capacitance value will also increase. Since the area and thickness is fixed, only the relative permittivity and Poisson ratio will affect the capacitance. Lowest Young modulus value will affect the force and cause the stress value will decrease. Hi, I'm Ui Jia Fu, and now I'm going to discuss about difference of strain in our design using different membrane materials, which is silicon nitrate, silicon carbide, and aluminum nitride. The snapshot of the simulation and material properties is shown on the left of the slide. The result of strain in the range of 100 Pascal to 2000 Pascal is recorded in the table as shown on the middle of the slide and the corresponding graph is shown on the right of the slide. From the strain formula, we can notice strain is depends on Young modulus of a material force applied onto membrane and cross-sectional area of membrane. The design will have a higher strain when silicon carbide is chosen due to its lower Young's modulus. Capacitance of membrane also been affected by these formulas since both of them share same variables. That's all from my part. I will pass it to next member. In Project C, there are five different pressure have been applied to silicon nitrate membrane with three different thickness of membrane, which are 10 micrometer, 30 micrometer, and 50 micrometer, used to determine the changes of total deformation, normal stress, and normal elastic strain. According to the simulation result and the graph with same thickness of membrane layer, as the pressure increases, the maximum stress and maximum strain increases. In addition, by referring to the graph with three different thickness of membranes, the maximum stress and strain value for the, the original thickness of silicon nitride membrane, 10 micrometer are higher than the thickness of 30 micrometer and 50 micrometer. Hence, as the applied thickness of membrane layer increases, the maximum stress and strain decreases. According to the table showing the changes of the air gap and the total capacitor value, air gap value Capacitor value of C1, C2, and CT can be obtained by using these formulas. The total capacitor value will decrease when 30 micrometer and 50 micrometer are applied on the thickness of bright electric layer value of C1, respectively. According to a study published on the social media, patients with high blood pressure have a risk of dying from the COVID-19 compared to a patient with high blood pressure. Without taking medication, it could probably increase the risk for severe complications and symptoms such as high age, fatigue, cold, and difficulty in breathing. The vehicle immune system is one reason people with high blood pressure and other health problems are at high risk for coronavirus. Vegan immune system unable to fight against the virus. The treatment medication such as drug to treat the ACE inhibitors is also the possibility of getting the coronavirus. Therefore, proposed design of pressure sensor using capacitive configuration hence can be adopted as a blood pressure sensor whereby the pressure of the blood acts to deflect the membrane layer of the sensor which in turn produces capacitance. Capacitive pressure sensor also can act as flow meters in ventilators, respiratory support devices and medical wearables for health tracking. That's all from us. Thank you for watching. <laughs>